I mean, with that said... Alright, I know what I'm gonna do. Alright. Ooh, this is interesting. Huh. Alright. Flane did not get her B rank. With either of us. That's some cheese. Some macaroni and cheese. Okay. Well, that's one thing we gotta work on. What about the others? Um Lorenz, did you get You got one with Marianne, that's good. Not one with Lysithia. Okay. And you got one with Manuela. Alright, alright, good, 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 good. So then Lorenz and Lysithia will have to be close. And Shamir got one with Claude. Not another one with Leone, and you did get one with Ignatz. Cool. Okay. My priority is to max out somebody's uh somebody's class mastery. Alright, so we gotta check abilities. First off, Lorenz. Fiendish blow over magic. Over the lance. Honestly, I don't know if you're ever going to use another lance again. Ignatz. That hit 20. I likes that. I rate that over authority, I think. Flane. Had a magic staff, but now... How could I not give her... This. Magic attack range plus one. Restores HP. You know, she can have both. Why not? Because Lorenz already has his magic staff. And, or... Yeah, it, it increases... It doesn't increase his magic. So, I think that is... Like, Flynn can have both. She's not using anything else. But I will... Equip that so we can see how it looks. So, the other item that we have, no one can use it, right? Let's see. Well, I mean, I don't think they can just off of principle. No one has. Um. No. Who has an A, or a rank for a lance? Nobody. Yeah, that's gonna stay in the in the convoy for a little bit in the storage. I think right now, Flame, you grab the knowledge gem. I think I'll give uh, zero to Claude. And Shamir, I'll give you to Raphael. I think. And I'll be back. Oh, and the song changed. Wait a minute. Actually, isn't it a, uh, a thing where I can change? Oh, I thought I could change uh, the sound. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, that's new. Never heard that. I think I'll do that. Feeling a little bit nostalgic if I can use that right now. All right, meet you guys back. Actually, let me see. Oh, look, there's Flame Staff. All right, nice to look at. I am spent. All right, Flame's authority went up. I understand more every day. And we get to try Raphael in his new class. Ooh. Wow. He looks like a monster now. In a good way. I leveled up. Didn't mean to, but I'll take it. Another step forward. Time for seconds. Wow! An so, unarmed crit. I'm impressed. Yeah, I am. Lorenz leveled up to 23. Wow. Nobles must be strong. 
And that's Raphael stanced up unarmed. This will make the job easier. And Shamira leveled up. And Lysithia leveled up. I don't have time for failure. Hmm. Marianne's level 24. I wonder how much more I can learn. Lysithia's battalion leveled up. Wow. I guess that's the power of a B battalion. This is brutal, but I need to do it. We're using, we're gonna train Marianne. And because she's, I'm realizing we're losing out on experience if we don't have somebody who can get damaged. And unfortunately, one of the best people, Marianne's, is Marianne. So, because this guy, not only do we have to worry about his attack, or get, they have to be low enough to where his attack will affect them. Which, me, that's a no. Because I have the shield. Leone, that's a no. Raphael. I guess we could have used Raphael. Actually, now I'm thinking about it. But he's so, like, he just got his class. He doesn't need this training. Marianne, on the other hand. It just makes a lot more sense to use her. So. But. Because she's also almost, uh, she's the closest to mastering her class. But where's the, um, the knowledge gem? That's what I wanted. Hilda can also, though, I believe, have not tried her heal. Yeah. Thank you. Interesting. Why me? And against my better judgment, I've made Hilda level up. Okay, thank goodness. Don't expect much more than that. As long as you got more attack, I'm happy. And it's been so long, I forgot thank there's you. an easy way I can check to see if they have a support or if they can continue to get their support up. If they have hearts. If they stop getting hearts and they've reached their support level. Uh-oh, Marianne's battalion broke. It's okay. Meanwhile, I sit these battalion. Wow, she has an excellent battalion. Again, it's B rank, but still. Oh, lovely. And I'm also getting the feeling that rallies don't Thanks increase so their rank that much, because they have probably done like 20 rallies between the two of each other, and they still can get their rank up. So, but this should be Marianne's last. <laughs> She dodged one. Dodging is good, because that means he hasn't run out of his weapons yet. All right. What'd you get? Okay, I've got it now. Renewal, okay. And renewal is basically, I mean that, but without the extra requirement. I'm not sure if I want renewal on her. Because I don't use her that much for that. Meanwhile, Lysithia, you get in. Wait, what? You have heal equipped. Why do you have heal equipped? Oh, and the accuracy. Okay, hang on. Oh, but he's got a 1% crit chance with Lysithia. That's kind of scary. If he critted her twice, that'd be just 24. So as long as we stay on top of it, we should be fine. Oh, crit, crit. Oh. That's nerve wrecking, but we realistically don't have anything to worry about. And I like to point out that that crit chance had a 1%. That's why I don't take chances with 1%. It can happen. Flames Battalion maxed out. Okay, that's good. Now this says he can do four attacks, but he literally can. Let me see. I'm almost curious. If he, he four attacks, 
If he crit it on all of them, which he won't. 1632. He won't. I'm curious to see what will happen. You got two. Let's see. Five! Okay. Good. Perfect comprehension. Bow breaker? That's what you get? I was actually thinking about changing uh changing you two, but if that's what you get, then I guess not. Okay. Oh, he's done. He's got unarmed. We can grow. Hold up, he's got unarmed. Oh shoot, who next? Well, I don't really care about the their I guess Leone. Flame leveled up. They say experience feeds growth. Y'all gonna be so overpowered. <laughs> Oh, and I get to this next story mission. Nice try. And I think just by him, yeah, all he did was just punch Leone. That's all there is to know. Aegis. Aegis. All right. Yep. Yeah, sure. Fine. Leone can have the Aegis ability. Um, looks like you want Raphael next. You will actually damage Raphael. Huh. Okay. Bring it. Nah, I'm bored, man. <laughs> I can only take so much. But this is the next, so this is the ultimate strat, guys. If you have a brawler in uh, one of the, um, what is it? And one of the Barrelock Auxiliary Battles, find a brawler, surround him. Have three of your units with weapons, one without. The brawler, even when he runs out of his weapon, will always be able to have an unarmed skill. So you can train your abilities up to max, provided you have enough healers and, or, you know, the units just have enough defense to where his unarmed attack, which is 16, won't do anything in this case, so. Which he won't do anything to a lot of my units. So, and if he does do something, he'll barely do anything. And by the time I need to heal them, that's working on not just the units in question who need to get their class rank up, but also the healers. That's why they kept leveling up. And why my healers are OP right now. <laughs> but look at that, they're 24. And Hilda's 26. She also has heal and she can dance as well. Which also helps. And not to mention the rallies, which help the ranks so go up. Though, I am honestly surprised oh, these two have not finished a rank. That's wild. I've rallied with them so many times. But yeah, legit, I'm honestly just bored, which is why I'm ending it now. That is that. So you can guarantee 62 turns. I took 62 turns on that. I think that was like an hour. So yeah, um, that's why I say, you know, on you can guarantee your, yourself on maddening mode, I'm probably gonna grind as much as possible using those battles. That's why when people say, don't do the auxiliary battles, why are you doing the exit Like, look, that helped me probably more than the paralog. Well, as far as levels go. What? Okay. That's her B rank, it right? It's been a while since we last spoke, Professor. Spare me a moment again, will you not? Sure, of course. You recall how you helped me and allowed me to join your class, yes? I do. I have learned a great many things since then. Indeed, I have truly grown so much. You really have. This personal growth is due in large part to you. And I wish to express my gratitude, sincerely. Well, thank you. 
I bet. Well, I mean, she has. She has. Excuse me. Are you implying that I am still naive? Well, there is partly that, and now I'm, I know where she grew up. That could also be. I don't know. There's still something up with Flame, though. I will have you know that I have made many friends and am constantly learning new things. Why, when I go to the market alone, I even haggle. <sighs> And this is even more- <laughs> now, Flame's age makes even more sense. You must be familiar with the delicate art of haggling, in which one negotiates a lower asking price for an item. And how many times have you been successful with that, Flame? That is the type of knowledge common only to those as mature as myself. A mature person would need to say that. <laughs> yeah. Who? Me? Um, have you not asked this once before? It is a bit rude to ask repeatedly, you know. Yes, it is. But you never told me. Is that so? Well, it seems we have something in common, since I do not know your age either. That gummit. Come now. There is nothing to be gained from focusing so heavily on age. Touching on a previous discussion, I think I have learned more about you. Oh, really? I mentioned how you possess an air of mystery. I compared you to any old sea. But I have come to realize you are more like a particular sea. One I have seen before. The one we were just at? When I was quite small, my mother would take me out to play in the sea. Yo, is it... Is it... Could I not get Flames rank up until that conversation... Or until that uh, paralogue? Or is it just a coincidence? She was an excellent fisher. Yes. My mother. I grew to love fish deeply because of her. Where are you going with this? Well, you see, fish are... Oh. Wait, I was talking about the sea, was I not? Yes. Anyhow, I sense that, like the sea, your depths are seemingly impenetrable. Well, I mean, if you're looking at Sothis, then you would be correct. Yet, despite your unknowable depths, there is something familiar about you. And I should probably mention this before it goes away, but I feel like some way, somehow, Sothis is a descend- Araya is a descendant of Sothis. As wild as that seems to be, I mean, that actually doesn't seem too wild. Naga has had children, and Naga was, I think they're in the same class, so this and Naga. It's as if we have met somewhere, long, long ago. Though, if that were the case, then some of them could turn into dragons. You think uh, we've met before? No, I do not think so. It is all quite strange, really. You could have met Sothis. Still, I do not think you could be a complete stranger either. Both your hair and eyes are unmistakably. Are you talking about my current hair? Hmm? Oh, apologies. Just muttering to myself. It is nothing. Mutterings aside, I mean to say that you do not feel like a stranger to me. I feel like this would have been locked, though, until you reach a certain point. Maybe I didn't get her unlock her B rank until just now, but I feel like it would have been locked until I did certain things. For whatever reason, I feel deeply connected to you. And for this, I am glad. You better not be my sister. <laughs> Dad, gum it all. How things have been going? Oh, that's nice. Doesn't really help for what we're about to do. Lysithia's birthday. All right, let's see how we do. I feel like something that's sweet. Mmm. How about mint? Did you call me? I am grateful. Darn it. I didn't have any like sweet tea. <laughs> that would have been nice, I think. Some sweets. Anything is fine. Um, you're doing great work. Yeah. What? Uh, I don't know, Dad. Gummit. Okay, this is bogus. This is absolutely bogus. Game. Okay. Uh, that tea was delicious. Invite me again sometime. See ya. You cheated me, game. You absolutely cheated me. It's not like I can get her rank up now anyways, but still.
All right. Can I do certifications again? All right, Hilda. Round two. Oddly enough, this will actually lower your rank. All right. There we go. Huh. Ha, oh, shucks. I guess I did it. Okay, well, she's got that equipped. What's it come with? I forgot. Oh, well. It won't be in this next battle that I use it. Although I could. I mean, like I said, I'm pretty sure... Like, what level do we need to be for this? I don't know. I guess we'll just see when we actually get there. Whoa! Shamir! Making her rounds! So... Cyril's B rank is... Empty. Or it un not unlocked. Okay. Okay, good. Lorenz got his B rank with Lysithia and Marianne. Did any... I didn't get any more A ranks. Okay. Um, Raphael, Shamir, Lysithia Lorenz, Marianne Lorenz, Manuela and Le People told me that was funny. So let's see. You better be right. Ah, oh, Lawrence. Do you have a moment to spare? Lawrence. My dear? Uh, now I am mispronouncing Lawrence's name incorrectly, I will admit. Lawrence. Hello, Professor Manuela. I trust all is well with you. I am quite well, quite well, thank you for asking. You are always such a gentleman. Thank you for saying so. How may I be of service? I noticed Manuela isn't, um, doesn't even have a crest, right? She's not noble or anything like that. She normally hates nobles, so how's this gonna go? I was wondering if we might spend a little time together. Maybe chat a bit? Certainly. It is an honor to speak with someone as elegant as yourself. Okay, no hostilities detected. I've just made tea. Would you like a cup? Oh, that would be just lovely. Lawrence, I hope you won't think it too forward of me, but... But what? I was wondering if you could explain a poem to me. Oh. It goes like this. Verdant rain soothe my aching heart like a cherished friend. Amid time's flow I mourn, bonds I'm not sure I can ever rend. Okay, that sounds quite depressing, Manuela. As my mind clings to desperate thoughts, here it comes, horse bow moon, and summer's end. Oh, that's, um, that's my poem. It is? As I suspected, I've checked absolutely everyone's handwriting. It's a sad poem, though, isn't it? Yeah. It feels lonely, possibly even, dare I say, defeated. What makes you feel that way, Lawrence? Why aren't you happy? I very much want to know. Well, I suppose I... Wait, why are you reading my poetry? Where did you even get that? Yeah, I thought you turned it in for an assignment or something. I found it, and when I saw the words, I read them. Well, that's what people do when they see words. They read them. Kindly return that at once. Reading someone else's work without permission. What an egregious breach of etiquette. Uh, honestly. Oh. Dear, snatching at something someone else is holding. How violent. It's not like you to lose your composure, Lawrence. Please, just forget you ever saw it. I beg you. Did you throw it away in the trash? I'm afraid I could never forget that peek into the darkness of your soul. Nor would I want to. Interesting phrasing. Then at the very least, would you kindly promise not to mention it to anyone else? Don't feel embarrassed. No, be proud. It's a lovely piece of writing. Quite revealing. I'd never guess you'd have such hidden depths. Tell me more. That's quite enough. Oh, that's absolutely adorable. So bashful. I simply must hear more of his poetry sometime soon. Well, that was interesting, and we'll give people that. Alright. 
Should we start the Shamir saga and then yeah, well actually Yeah, we let's continue with Lorenz because we've been doing that um Hmm Okay <laughs> That's I guess her conversations do start off a lot at the times like this What is it, Marianne? I'm curious why you've been eating your meals near me as of late. Oh. I'm not much for conversation. I'm always at a loss for words, and I never know how to respond to questions. Well, it's true that there are some who prefer a lively dinner table, but I prefer to eat in peace. That is true. With you, my meals are a relaxing experience. In fact, you're the most peaceful dining companion I've ever had. Well, that's... I guess that's one way of looking at it. R really? There is a real grace and fluidity to your every movement. I greatly appreciate refined table manners. Observing you all this time, I believe I've realized what is so striking about you. Her peacefulness? Your beauty comes from the heart. It is an inner beauty. Well... It is not some flamboyant pageantry, a product of external adornment or grooming. Well... When I first noticed it, I thought that it could use some refinement, a little polish, but I was mistaken. You are perfect in your natural state, just as you are. I agree with that on many cases. All right, that's why I don't advocate for makeup or anything like that. Don't bother with me. It's the inner heart that matters with me the most. The Lorenz, the way you said it, could have worked on, had some work on it. You think I'm beautiful? Just the way I am? But that it! two of Marianne's supports seem like. Certainly. To add a superficial luster on top of what you already possess would be offensively redundant. No one's ever said anything like that to me before. That it! Alas, I am the only one with eyes. No, you're not. But perhaps it is for the best that your beauty not be revealed to all the world. You better not end this with the, with the line I think you're ending it with. Yes. It is certainly better that only I, Lawrence Hellman Gloucester, can appreciate your true magnificence. it! And on that note, I bid you farewell. Oh my goodness! What a strange person. But being called beautiful just the way I am, that was nice to hear. Oh, you... Uh, <laughs> I mean, I should be happy for my students. I actually do wonder... If there's some type of resolution that will be at the end of the game. Because normally there is with all... Well, every Fire game I think I've played. I shouldn't speak on what happens at the end of Fire Emblem games. For those of you who do not know. But, alright. The last one. Picking wildflowers? Seems such a common activity for someone like you. To me, the most beautiful flower is the one that blossoms by its own strength. Huh. Lysithia. Please accept this as That's an interesting you you're talking about her, huh? Knock it off. Uh sorry. It's just that the thorns are a bit sharp, and I'm not a fan of killing nature. True sympathy, even for the smallest wildflower. Hmm. I admire your kindness. Sure, that's what she was going for. When you inherit your house, that kindness will be a balm to your subjects. They and the neighboring lords will trust you instinctively. I am so interested to see, after all these supports, how they interact with their actual house. I gotta admit, after um, the experience with Kranya, I did feel a little bit of a, a, a sadness also because of the fact that I thought the story just... I, I have completely... Like, that was the most interesting thing that had happened. But I gotta remember... Well... Not just remember, the supports we- or the paralogs as well, we've had thus far with the house, as well as the supports. No, we, we have to get into their actual route, but first we gotta see what Rhea is gonna- what's gonna happen with her. And then there's a final chapter, and then I think we'll reach the time skip, but- Politics. Again. Yeah, I'm interested to see, like, who's your parents? Like, what? I just need to meet everybody's people. The Alliance has been harmed in the past by lords who thought only of themselves. Hmm. Who saw others as a means to an end. I wonder about your father there, Lorenz. But you, you understand others' pain. 
With you around, I am quite hopeful that the Alliance will flourish again. That's not something you should get your hopes up about. House Ordelia will end with my father. What makes you say that? I'm sorry? I understand you have a distaste for politics, but could you really allow a noble house three centuries old to fall to ruin? Three centuries old? This goes beyond you and even your house. What would become of Fodlin if all its noble houses withered away in such a manner? The people would be in disarray. The balance of power would crumble. Chaos would rule. No, it's just... My body, unfortunately, is not built to last. What do you mean? And I have no siblings. When I die, that's the end. Is it because of her... Her immune system is weak or something like that? What? Lysithia! Noble birth has been nothing but a source of pain for me. For me, and for my parents. We got sucked into the rebellion in the Empire, and it led to... Many responsibilities for us. The things we went through. I can hardly bear to speak of it. See, that's what I'm talking about. Like, right now, we're getting so many tastes of what's gonna happen that I don't want to do a single other paralogue again because I want to get to the time skip. All I want now is to give my mother and father the chance to live out their years in peace. So, are you, is it because of experimentation? I intend to do whatever I can to ease the hardships of our people while I still have life left in me. If Lysithia is meant to die at the end of this game... <sighs> Naturally, I worry about what will come to pass after I'm gone. But I'm sure things will work out, so long as there are people like you around working so hard for a better future. You know... So much just made sense about Lysithia's character. And I think this is, this is our last B rank with members of the Alliance, right? If so, this is perfect. How angry she's been getting at everybody else whenever they don't show it competence or, you know, whenever they seem like they're slacking or, you know, a lot of things in general. And how she's not a child. If she believes she's going to die soon or, you know, sooner than others... She's trying to maximize the, her life as much as she can for the time that she has. Which is why she's acting like that. So you have been thinking of the future, even despite all of that. I... I am so sorry, I had no idea. Yeah. Lysithia, I have offended you most persistently. Please find it in your heart to forgive my impudence. I also wonder if the Fire Emblem Three Houses has made it to where a certain uh conversations take a lot more to get naturally in the sense of if like rallies had a set amount that they increased your rank like say they increased it by five every time five support points i imagine it's something you know like this will be one of the hardest ones to get because it has such a big well, i mean they kind of did because light city had two b ranks so i guess that's their way of solving that don't worry about it if you're so insistent upon being my friend, I'm sure more tasty snacks and tea will help persuade me. Dadgummit, I wish I had better tea for her! But if speaking of the future holds such importance, better to find someone who actually has one. I understand. Yes, let's take tea together again soon. That's what she meant when she said she didn't have a future. She meant it literally. Yep, that is the last one. Hmm. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Oh, thankfully, I don't think Shamir's will be as heavy. Let's start with Ignatz. Oh, today's training was murder. Ah, Shamir. I have a question for you. Um, Shamir? What's up? Oh, I suppose she's meditating or something. Is she sleeping? Never mind then, I guess. Where are you going? Ha! Huh. Shamir! Don't you have a question? Uh, no. It's not important. What were you doing? I'm finished meditating. Oh. Speak. She <laughs> she was meditating. Uh, no, it's not... You're probably tired anyway. 
always be willing to speak and ask questions. Yeah. Understood. That is something he needs to work on. Yes, understood. I'll remember that for next time. No, next time. Next time. Um, yes, I'm okay for today. Sorry to disturb you. I'll be leaving now. Okay. Why must he be so difficult? That's got to be the quickest one. All right. Like I said, not as heavy, but that's good. Cause I don't need heavy right now. What's wrong with you? Uh, uh, Sh Shamir, <laughs> how long have you been there? You nervous? It's too long. You're blocking my way. It's a big hall. Wait, there's something I wanted to ask you. Ask? I. Just make it quick. Well, you see, whenever I go into battle, the enemy seems to find me right away. That makes sense. I'm an easy target, but I want to be able to move around the battlefield without being noticed, like you do. Well, we are all suited to different strengths. So what do you think? Would it be possible? Do you think you're being noticed because of your size? <laughs> of course. I'm pretty hard to miss, you know. I thought that was obvious. Wrong. It's not your size, it's your presence. It's strong, almost unbearably so. That reminds me of another character <laughs> um, who had the opposite problem. They wanted to be seen from another Fire Emblem game. My presence? Is that something I can change? With practice, maybe. Let me ask you, have you ever felt my presence? Now that I think about it, I haven't. That must be why I didn't notice you earlier. But how can I do that? Will you teach me? Please? Please? <sighs> Fine. <laughs> There's a breathing technique that masks your presence. Why are you acting like that? When you breathe, are you continuously inhaling then exhaling? Like, wow, this is so much effort. Well, of course. That's the best way I know how. I'd explode if I only breathed in. It's interesting how they're talking about breathing and he was training Flane on breathing. Well, I... No, he actually wasn't. He was training hard and yelling. The opposite. Right. To minimize your presence, breathe in, then out, then out again. In through the nose, then gently out through the mouth twice. Really? In, out, out. That's it? I could definitely do that. <sighs> <coughs> I couldn't do it, Shamir. <laughs> breathe less. Keep it to the absolute minimum. <coughs> I, I don't know the minimum. It'll take some practice. <sighs> sure, sure. I'll keep trying. In, out, out is trickier than it sounds. All right, and then the last one. Ha! Huh. Huh. Not bad. You're quite skilled. Shamir, what a rare treat for you to start a conversation for a change. Yeah, especially after the last two. Is it? <laughs> and suddenly she averts. It's not possible you came to ask for my help with something. Could it be you want to become closer friends? Don't flatter yourself. That's cruel. You could have at least hesitated a beat before answering. And that's not her style. Last we spoke, you were questioning whether or not you belong here. You remember that, do you? Well, yes, I do think this is where I belong. For now. Yeah. I have things that I want to achieve, and I can only do that by staying right where I am. That said, once I've done what I'm here to do, it's hard to say whether I'll stay or leave. I might end up searching for another place to belong. Hmm. That is true for most people. Life would be tedious if we knew what lies ahead. Whether or not you belong in a place can change at any time. As soon as you settle in somewhere new, you begin to question your decision. Was that you? That's true. I guess trying things out and searching for our own path is what life is about. And both of our paths have led us here. This is where we belong right now. Even if it's just a temporary coincidence, we should cherish it while it lasts. What are you going on about now? I'm just saying we should make the most of this time we have together since we don't know how long it'll last. Oh, that is true. And the case of Lysithia for literally life base and yours, and I don't know what you're going to do in the future, Claude. Once it's gone, it might never come back. Right? 
Like, what are you, are you going to start a war or something? Or you, I feel like Claude's purpose was to make peace between the Almirans and um, the Alliance. Is this your sad attempt at flirting? <laughs> I will admit, you're an interesting one. Shamir, whoa, hold up. Yo, there was no... That, that, that's how that ends? Okay. Wait, Shamir doesn't have B rank with me. I need to get that. Oh, oh Shamir and Cyril, now that I think about it. But I wanted to focus on at least the 10 who always go out with me in battle. Because I believe people said there are certain B ranks you can't even get. Or I think the supports work a bit differently in the sense that they can become locked. But all right. Uh, any more certifications? Actually, yes. Ignatz needs to become a sniper. Alright, looking good. I completely forgot they didn't... They weren't even... Oh. I can't believe I did it. That'll help. And Lorenz? Oh, 65? Wow, I didn't- Whoa, I didn't look at all these. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Skipping. Hero? Hmm. Swordmaster? No. Assassin? Meh. Fortress Right? Knight? Eh. Eh. Paladin? Eh. Raven Rider? Nah. War no. Sniper, maybe. The grappler, no. Yeah, you're meant to be a warlock or a bishop. I think that suits. And I didn't even look at all of Ignatz's. But Lorenz mastered his class, right? So I need to give him something new. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Hero? Ah! Actually, looks kind of good on him, I think. Swordmaster? No. Assassin? Mm -mm. Fortress Knight? <laughs> Paladin? Wyvern Rider? Warrior? Nah. Nah. N no. Mm. I think it looks best as a sniper. That definitely seems to fit him. Flame did not master her class, so we don't have to worry about that. I mean, we could try Lorenz. If it fails, uh, item shop. Oh wait, yeah, certifications. Cause he mastered his class. There's nothing for him. Oh, and there we go. Everyone's now an advanced class. Was there any doubt? Yes, but we won't talk about that. All right. With everything we've done, we are owning this mission. I am not worried about it at all. And I get a feeling, just going to predict, Death Knight's going to show up. In which case, I'm going to make Lysithia ready. I am gonna make her super ready. We know, I know all the ability, or the techniques we have. My team has so many ways to get Lysithia 2 there. We got Rescue, we got Lorenz's uh, battalion. Lysithia cannot warp herself, but we got Hilda as well. Like, one way or another, if he shows up, he's going down, all right? And I'll be there to help her. Oh, I'll try to make sure I'm there to help her. I'm gonna make sure, because, like, somebody's got to show up, right? And Rhea's going to be there, too. If she takes up a slot, it's going to be annoying. But anyways, all right. With that, I am done. So, until next time, this has been Blade. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. <laughs>
And now it is time for the question of the day. And once again, we had another heavy, intense moment, which is perfect for the sense of when I first again, after I recorded that episode or that episode series with Kranya, I was wondering, I was like, man, this that, the interesting stuff of the story has gone. And then after every single episode I recorded after that recording session, it's been so incredibly interesting leading up to this point. And, you know, I can't help but think about how it seems like every support with my students, besides Hilda and Cyril, it seems to not be available after this moment. Like, after this mission that we're about to have, they're gone. And we know, <laughs> thinking about what happened with Celtus's support, she was going to die. Or at least be fused with me. I had no idea. I was like, huh, well, that's interesting. Why is that support? Why can it only be done then? Because Celtus is gone. So that makes me wonder just what's about to happen because we can do Hilda's later, but not these. So maybe I'm wrong and maybe the time is about to happen now. And there are many more chapters than I, I'm not sure, but regardless, I know something big is about to happen. So and I don't have a question fitting that moment. I mean, I don't even know what's going to happen, so maybe I'm wrong on that. But I want to ask, who do you think Lawrence has the most chemistry with in the Golden Deer house? Because he seems like a hard one to, you know, get along with. But he, like, thanks to him, like, he, we had that one with Lysetia. That was incredibly, like, it gave us the insight. I feel like I had a, now have a full view on Lysetia's character that I didn't have before. So... I'm curious to see what you all will think about that. So please post your thoughts down in the comments below. And I don't know what's about to happen, but I will see you all for that episode next time.